<clears throat> hey, what's up, guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. I do the premium problem solutions on my Patreon. I appreciate anyone that supports me. If you want to reach out to me, Discord or Patreon is a good place. Uh, I try to get back to everyone. Uh, this problem is called Valid Anagram. Uh, very easy problem. I can't believe I didn't even do this one. Um, well, I did it. I didn't make a video. But uh, given two strings, S and T, write a function to determine if T is an anagram of S. So we got two strings, S and T. And we want to know if T is an anagram of S. Okay. What is an anagram? Uh, anagram is just a rearrangement of the letters. So uh, this has to be a rearrangement of these letters. A few things to note, there has to be the exact same letters in the exact same, you know, if there's three A's in this, there has to be three A's in this. So the letters in this string have to occur in this string the exact same amount of times. The only thing that's different is the they are rearranged in a different order. So um, in this example, there are, you know, three A's in this string, there's three A's in this string, there's an N in this string, there's an N in this string. There is a G in this string, there's a G in this string, there is an R in this string, there's an R in this string, and there's an M, and there's an M. Uh, the only difference is they're rearranged, so that is true. In this string, there is R-A-T, and there's C-A-R. So this one has a T, but this one doesn't, and it has a C instead. So this needs to have a T, and remove the C, and get you know put a T where that is, and then it would be fine. So how do we solve this? It's actually probably one of the easiest problems on this site. Uh, you may assume the strings only contain lowercase alphabets. So first of all, they have to be the same length because it's the same characters the same amount of time. So we can do a simple check. Okay, if s.length is not equal to t.length, well then it's for sure not an anagram. Um, so return false. Now, the way that we're going to do this is using a char map to the number of occurrences. What we really care about is the number of occurrences of each letter. So if there's three A's in this string, we want to find three A's in this string, right? So we can do that by using an int array. We'll call it uh, char counts. And we will say it's a new int of size 26 because there's 26 letters in the alphabet. So it's not huge on space or anything. Um, we what we're what the strategy is is we're gonna loop through this string and we're going to fill this int array with the count for each character. So when we see an A, we're gonna be like, okay, um, we saw one A, and every time we see an A, we'll increment that. So we saw we have the, we'll have the count of each character at the end um, in this string. So we're gonna be incrementing the count for each character in this string. We're gonna be decrementing in this string. So in the end, if all of the counts for each character are zero, then it evened out and it's fine. So you increment, you do plus, we see an A, we go, okay, we saw one A, plus one, plus two, plus three, we saw three A's. And when we see an A in this string, we'll go minus one, minus one, minus one. So all the characters, if we increment in this string, but we decrement in this string when we see them, they should even out so that each character has a count of zero at the end. And that is the strategy. You could also... Um, you know, just make an array for this one and then go through and make sure that the count is the same for this one. But I think this is a lot cleaner and nicer. So we're just going to loop. You can loop through either string's length because they're the exact same length. We already checked that up here. Um, so we'll do s.length, i++. We'll do char counts of um, s dot char at so the we'll increment for the string s so this gets the current character in s in this so this is the current character s dot char at i the string at the current index um, so this gets the character we'll reference the index by doing this so this takes the current character subtracts a so if the current character was a this would do a minus a and give us index zero in zero out of 26 would be the position of a in the alphabet so that, that's just a common thing in the char counts array. Um, and then for t.char.i, we will decrement, like I said. So this just takes the current character from each string, subtracts a to get the index of that current character in the alphabet, and then it increments it, like I said, for this string, and decrements it for this string. Then at the end, we just want to go through this array of char counts, um, int... Uh, count, sorry, 
in uh, char counts, and we will say um, if count is not equal to zero, they should all be zero, then return false. Otherwise, return true. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, there we go. I, oh, I always make a mistake, but this is one of those lucky occasions where I didn't make a mistake this time when I typed it up. So that's the idea. Uh, I think it's a very nice and easy problem, especially to get warmed up with. Um, and uh, yeah, I like it a lot. Let me know if you have any questions. I think I explained it pretty well. Um, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. If you are a beginner and you really want to check this out, it would be you know, kind of like this, char counts of, we see an A in this string, so we do A minus A, because the current character minus A, that gives us zero, because that's equal to zero, and then we do plus plus, so char counts of zero would be one, because it's in initially zero, and um, then we see an N, and it finds the N's position, etc. That's just how the um, indexing works. So thank you guys for watching, um, appreciate you all. Appreciate everyone that uh, watches the videos, and um, thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. That's it.